Well, getting results is not just something we say a lot here at News mm -hmm. 6. It's something we do every day in a variety of ways for people in the community. Sometimes it's getting money back. Sometimes it's listening and telling your stories. And sometimes it could be helping a local student get the financial help they need to go to the college of their dreams. And we did it for the first time last fall. Remember him? We introduced you to Savon Thomas. You may remember he was homeless much of his senior year at Cypress Creek High School, sometimes even walking up to 20 miles just to get to school. Well, he got into the American Musical and Dramatic Academy in New York City, but he needed more help to be able to go. This is everything to me, even though I am scared, even though I am afraid because I've never been out of where I grew up. Well, hmm, shortly after our story, he found out he'd been upgraded to get a full ride to the school. Then this spring, we introduced you to Kayla Martinez, the 19-year-old just graduated from Cypress Creek High, while the rest of her family is stuck in Venezuela. She rents a room in someone else's home while commuting by SunRail and Uber so she can juggle two part-time jobs. But like Savan, she has dreams of being on the stage. It's just, I feel so comfortable. Like, this is my zone. Kayla just graduated last week. She knew she was accepted to two colleges on partial scholarships, one of them being AMDA, where Savon goes. But she didn't know she was getting this big surprise this past weekend. Tonight, we award the AMDA's Director Scholarship, which is a full ride to our school, uh, in the amount of $17,628 to Miss Kayla Martinez. Oh my gosh, goosebumps. we're all in goosebumps here. Yes. How exciting, a full ride to the American Musical and Dramatic Academy in New York City. We're so excited to have Kayla back here with Yay. us and Jonathan Dubray from AMDA. And uh, welcome and congratulations to you. <laughs> Thank you. How are you feeling <laughs> after finding out? Like, what did it feel like the moment you heard your name called? I was so nervous. <laughs> I, was just, I, was, I know I had to wait. You know, it was like a long time of me waiting and, you know, any news about it. So when I was sitting there, I was like, okay, well, this is the moment. I mean, rather they say my name or they don't say my name. Like, I have to keep going and mm -hmm. go for it regardless, yes. right? Yeah. But now you've got some extra wind beneath your wings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and that's what you do. I mean, you, you give students like Kayla an opportunity to, to make a dream come true. Yeah, I'm beyond honored. I'm a graduate myself, so uh, for me to be able to give an education and what I had is something really important. So we're very honored to have Kayla as part of the team now. Mm -hmm. And you've helped, you know, now two Central Florida students <laughs> who we're so proud of and they're just so talented. How much does, you know, community, I mean, we've had so much community support behind these two individuals. How does that play into your decision? Um, it's a big, big part. I mean, you want to look at AMDA uh, as an ambassador or a student as an ambassador. So to be able to have someone that can perform, be talented, but also to give to the community, to work incredibly hard, to make these sacrifices that many students uh, uh, don't even understand mm -hmm. is, is a blessing to have. And, um, you know, when, when you to say never give up is, is an understatement compared to what Kayla has done and what she does uh, currently. So it's just an honor to be able to award her. And what does uh, Kayla and other students uh, have to look forward to as they enter the AMDA? A lot of work. Yeah, uh, good. <laughs> it's a very intensive program. Uh, we offer two-year and four-year uh, conservatory and college degrees, mm -hmm. uh, but it's very hands-on. So you're looking at over 100 performances in four years, mm -hmm. a lot of auditioning, a lot of nonstop business-savvy mindset and networking. It's, but if, you're, if this is what you love, it's, it's the perfect program, yeah. perfect school for you because that's all it is. If you're looking to be a doctor and an actor, not the school for you. <laughs> yeah. right. Look at play a doctor on TV, we got you covered. <laughs> but that's essentially kind of what we do. Yeah. So it's great to have someone who's as talented as Kayla to really build a lot of her uh, momentum and, and put all the hard work into it. And I was looking at your face as he was kind of describing the program. Are you still processing this? Yes. It's so much to take in. <laughs> yes, definitely. I'm still like trying to, you know, imagine myself like in New York and that's where I'm going to be for, you know, the next years of my life. And it's just a big change, you know, from what Florida. What are you looking forward to with New York City? I mean, that's a big transition. I know. I just, I... It's like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm still trying to like, you know, I feels like this is just so perfect. Like it's, is it even real or not? Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know. I'm just really excited and I'm really grateful for it. And of course, your family is in Venezuela. Have you had the chance to share the big news with them? And what was their reaction? No, yes. I, <laughs> as soon as I got home, um, my theater teacher 
kid dropped me off home and I was like, okay, well, I'm going to call them. And he was like, yeah, do that, you know, congratulations. <laughs> and I was dying to tell you. <laughs> so I called them and, and my brother was already asleep. And I was like, okay, mom, wake him up, wake him up because I have something to tell you guys. So as soon as I got home, you know, I, they answered. They were all like kind of like sleepy-ish because it was mm -hmm. like 11, 12, almost 12 midnight. And I was like, okay, well, you guys remember, you know, that school that was like, telling me that, you know, I might get, like, this really big opportunity to go to New York and then maybe L.A. And, well, I got it last night. It was a really big oh. announcement. It was, you know, like, the awards. I'll send you guys the video. And they were like, oh, my God, this is amazing. You're going to be in New York. And, <laughs> and my brother was like, oh, my God, I'm so proud of you. Like, my brother mm -hmm. and me have, like, a, a kind of, like, relationship where we're, like, we don't really tell each other, like, we care about each other, but we love each other. <laughs> yeah, of course. So, like a true brother and sister. Yeah. 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 So yeah. he was like, I love you. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. And it was just, it was really, it was amazing. It was still kind of hard to, you know, not hug them and all, but yeah. they're really proud and they're really happy. Of course. And Jonathan, what, what is it about Kayla and Savon that we saw earlier? What is it about them that you just say they're made for the program? You know, beyond the talent, which is obvious, it's really the hard work. You know, mm -hmm. we want students that uh, understand how dedicated this is really you need to be for this kind of program. And we need students that are, uh, uh, don't limit themselves and, and how much they want to really strive. So we saw it immediately with Kayla. And, and when you look at the story and you look at all the sacrifices that she's made, it's a, uh, a no-brainer in our, in our uh, decision-making to say, okay, we have somebody that will put the work in, will make it uh, effortless, tireless, and, and will work as hard as they can because we want to have success for her. We want to mm -hmm. talk about her on our videos and mm -hmm. our presentations, and, and I think this kind of caliber of hard work will definitely shine. Awesome. And you leave soon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is the worst part of the whole waiting <laughs> process because it's like, okay, well, one day, soon enough, they're going to tell me, well, yes or no. If it's a yes, then I have to, like, immediately just mm -hmm. start, you know, arranging <laughs> what everything. What a whirlwind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's, you know, it's exciting. It's, it's, like, really quick and everything's happening. Like, since the last time I was here, like, a bunch of things happened and mm -hmm. they're all really good and I'm so grateful for everything. It's, like, you know, when you really work hard in the end. Yeah. Things you need to show to your show oh, your yes. things. Yes. Right. I got this. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So my shirt and you know <laughs> I'm ready. Oh, wow. All right. This is this is for the record though. Don't forget the little people. Okay. <laughs> oh no no. <laughs> right. well, we definitely hope to hear more and see more of you, yes. Kayla and Savon as well. So mm -hmm. you guys come back and we can go see you in your shows one day. Yes. Can't wait. Yes. Represent. It's, yeah, you guys are gonna be okay. Channels, tell them to come backstage. Yeah. Yes, we're gonna all. Yeah. Let's meet oh, the cast. Yeah, that's give it the hook up. Hook up for <laughs> no, we're right. gonna be your entourage. Look at the list now. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Keep shining, Kayla. Yes. Congrats. Thank you so much.